You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Here's a look at Shasta County this afternoon. You can see a lot of clouds rolling through overhead as that sun starts to fall in the sky. Really a beautiful day out there, Patrick. And uh, if you could stand the cold or just bundle up a little bit, not a bad day to be outside. Yeah, today was a great winter day in Northern California. We had plenty of sunshine. Now the high clouds have rolled in and that'll keep us a little warmer than what we saw this morning. So here's what we're looking at outside right now. This is the view from the Rattlesnake Peak camera. Those mid to high level clouds will continue to stream in tonight and into tomorrow morning. These are not associated with our next winter storm moving in, but it is on the way. Regardless, we are dry and cold this evening. Clouds building throughout the day tomorrow, along with valley rain with this storm and more mountain snow ahead, which means tough travel. Here's what we have going into the future. The high clouds sticking around tonight and into tomorrow morning. But as we head into the noon hour, that is when things start to thicken up as this next storm system approaches. It's going to take some time from when the rain actually reaches the coast between that and when it actually moves into the valley and northern Sierra itself. We'll see some of the rain for sure by and the snow in some cases by 8 p.m. for the coastal mountains, but it is going to take some time for the atmosphere atmosphere to fill with some of that moisture and the rain and snow showers to actually reach the ground. That does happen by 5 a.m. Saturday morning. This system is tapping into some moisture and a lot of it, which may make it qualify for an atmospheric river event. In the valley, we will see some heavy rain as a result, along with heavier snow in the mountains. But what I want you to pay attention to is throughout the day Saturday, because it's picking up moisture from over the Pacific, rather than pulling it from the north and Alaska, we are seeing our snow levels rise throughout the day. So we will still see snow in the mountains, but it's going to be higher in elevation. By 8.30 p.m. Saturday night, we see things calming down nicely and a few snow showers and light showers around and almost completely disappearing by early Sunday morning. So as we go forward, we will have some winter weather alerts going into effect because of the snow in the mountains. Winter storm warning for the northern Sierra that begins tomorrow night at 7. Winter storm warning in the coast mountains that begins tomorrow night at 4. Now we also have a winter weather advisory for the western foothills beginning tomorrow at 4 p.m. And that does include some parts of I-5, so you will need to double check some of those road conditions tomorrow night into Saturday. The heaviest snow will fall above elevations of 3,000 feet in the coast mountains and 5,000 feet in the Sierra. Snow levels starting off around 2,500 feet and eventually getting to th and 3,000 feet in the Sierra, but this will rise by Saturday evening between about five and 6,000 feet. So we will see those numbers going up and the snow line moving higher in elevation. We also will have valley rain with this storm. We could see up to about half an inch to an inch and a half of rain in the valley itself. It is a widespread for the numbers. If we could see some of those heavier cells pop up over your city or neighborhood, that's where we can see the heaviest rain possible. We'll have more details on that as we get a little closer to the system. Lower 30s to mid 30s this evening in the valley itself, so it's still going to be cold, but temperatures in the upper 40s for highs tomorrow with those clouds building in throughout the day. Now the next seven days, we are looking dry after Saturday, Sunday, a few clouds around clouds breaking up throughout the day and Monday and Tuesday. We are looking dry with a chance for some showers arriving by Wednesday and Thursday. So far, the models are not very organized which, with any of those systems, so I'm keeping us dry overall. But as we get closer, we'll be able to iron out some of those details. All right. Thanks, Patrick.